Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Mojo for Industry. We are at uh, Renewex 2024. So now we are at the stall of Novosis. Uh, and uh, when you talk about uh, Novosis, they are committed to save India's clean energy future. So, you know, see the journey of Novosis, it's quite fascinating. And uh, if you can just tell us more about how it started and where, where we stand today. Uh, basically, we started in 2016 as a APC contractor. Right? We have done few installations. By now, we have completed around 25 megawatt of work uh, in and around uh, Nagpur, some in Chhattisgarh. And uh, in that activity is what has happened. We have learned the basic heart of any project is solar panels. So solar panels should quality should be good. The latest technology which is coming up, which is being adopted in the world, should be come to India. That was our motto. We started with latest technologies, fully automated lines, poly as well as mono, mono park I would say rather. We were the first to launch mono park 395 watt peak in India. And secondly, automatic framing machines, the first imported and installed by Nova Assists. Today, we are having 600 megawatt capacity, annual capacity and very soon expanding it to 1.2 gigawatt, uh, gigawatt by maybe in two months time. Wow, that's really, really fascinating and wonderful, sir. So, started in 2016, it's not a very long journey as an EPC player and within seven, eight years, it's 600 megawatt capacity of manufacturing going to be one and 1.2 gigawatt within a couple of months. What is actually driving you? Basically, definitely demand is there, policies are there, government is very much focused on the net zero. The target is set, new policies, demand is coming up and to match the demand, we are also growing. We, are, we know the demand of the market and keeping that in mind, we are upgrading our technologies, machineries and expanding it to the market. Demand. Right sir. So uh, from 600 megawatt to 1.2 gigawatt, uh, what is the investment you already made and uh, what kind of uh, no value addition the new facility is going to make? Uh, basically till now it is 25 to 30 crores to already invest in the machineries and setup. And further we just to going to 1.2 uh, gigawatt, we are spending another 7 to 8 CR. So altogether you can say this with uh, 35 CR, we are achieving 1.2 gigawatt. So could you be specific about the growth numbers? I would say this year we did nearly 500 crores, last year we did a 350 crores, before that we did 150 crores. So this is, you can see that uh, how we are growing. And 2025 with the new capacity. We are targeting 1000 CR. Uh, that's huge sir, that's huge and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much sir, thank you. Right sir. So you were talking about the you know, positive policies uh, and frameworks of the government. So. Uh, but uh, there is a, a different uh, side as well. Uh, so, though manufacturers like you are expanding your capacities, you know, now we can say that we are almost self-sufficient to you know, meet the demand from Indian market. But at the same time, we can see that you no know, import is not decreased. Uh, what may be the reason and uh, actually uh, why the Indian players or other Indian solar players are inclined to import? See, basically the raw material which is silicon. Silicon means that ingot, silica, all these things, there is availability of it. But the problem is, China is so much matured by now that they have the most economical facility with them to provide the ingots, maybe sales, but they'll sell quality and the price is very, very low, what we produce over here. So that is the challenge we are facing. Ultimately, the resources, we are talking about module manufacturing, we are talking, which is assemblies, nothing else. Back to that, that is cell manufacturing. There also, it is not cell manufacturing, it is whatever wafers coming, we are slicing and converting into uh, cells. But we are not going for ingot manufacturing. So, ultimately, now, yes, thinking process is on. Uh, maybe Reliance, Adani, they are coming up with the, from the raw material uh, to other resources. It is improving day by day. There is no, it doesn't mean that we are fully dependent on China. Yes, the day will come maybe in further next two to three years that will be sufficient in the raw metal as well. 
So we have to be somehow, you know, need to uh, overpower the Chinese imports, especially uh, within a certain frame of time. Otherwise, the policies like ALMM or whatever you say, it's not going to give us the result. Understand? Yes, that is right. That is a hurdle for the time being. But I believe maybe in next three to four years, we'll be able to have a raw material set up ourselves, and we'll be dependent enough. We will not be depending much on China. Yes, on a cost ground, maybe pricing ground. So we would be still importing some part, but major part we would be manufacturing here. It. So you uh, spoke about your short-term vision, your mid-term vision, as well as long-term vision for not very long, 2025. What? So, uh, w- what exactly your message to the industry and to your customers as well as potential customers? So basically, to the customers, my message would be rely upon Indian manufacturers. We are now matured manufacturers. Quality, what we are providing is world class. Once you believe on us, definitely yes. On a pricing front, we might be a bit higher, but if volume increases, your demand and the faith increases, definitely price will also come down. Right, sir. Thank you so much. It was great talking to Novasis. They are going to be the game changer for Indian solar sector by. No, having a turnover of thousand crore within 2025, and of course, an expansion of capacities in terms of entire ecosystem or the value chain for solar sector. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hello, viewers. I'm Neha Wagle. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us. so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world stay connected with us and keep watching mojo for industry for all the latest updates